This is the last 35mm film, hopefully, that the Gem Theater will ever show. This gives you an idea of uh, what we go through up here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and come over here and slow the controls down. And we'll just bring this one to a halt just for the purposes of showing you folks what goes on. The reels of film have to be brought in and they come in in a case. And you can see the other reels that are in there right now. And then we take each reel out. I set it up here on the table. And then we find what's called the head of the, of the uh, reel. And that's how, then they're in a numbered sequence. And that's how we tape them together to get this conglomeration right here. Now this one is a relatively small film, being only about 90 minutes. And you can see the distance from here out to these other films. This would be the help. Transformers number three, and then the furthest outline being Avatar at two hours and 40 minutes. So that gives you an idea of it's just a little bit smaller there. But they come in packs of anywhere from five to nine total reels. Five reels is typically in a single box, and anything over that it will be two boxes or two of the old cans. We'll bring you over here to the old projector. And these things are now obsolete. Uh, they were extremely reliable. But you had a number of pulleys. Your film would come off the deck, go actually under one of those pulleys there, and then up to this pulley here, and then across to this pulley, and then it would come down into the projector. And this would be your first one. It would go over this one. And then it would be fed down through this slot. And this is what, this is where you folks would see it coming out. And then it feeds down underneath and goes to this little pulley. And then it'll drop down into the sound head portion. And this lower part down here is called the sound head. This is your sound drum right here. And this little light right there is the reader for the sound. And then it would go up over this pulley and then down over this pulley and each one of these pulleys has a locking mechanism. And then it would come down to the safety and the film would have to hold these two wheels up. If any of you have ever been here and I've had trouble getting one started, it's these little babies right here are the culprit. Both wheels need to be in the up position. And if for some reason there was an incident where the projector failed, they would drop out of the way and would shut the projector down. Then it goes down through this pulley here, comes across, goes through this bottom one, and then we go up over the top of this one, and then down to this one, and then up to this one, and once again back down to this one. And what this does is this regulates how much tension is on the film while it's playing. And then of course it would come back out. It goes over this top one and then two would over whichever corresponding deck the film is returning to and then it would automatically be rewound. We are not going to miss this <laughs> at all. If any of you have ever been here when a film has failed, uh, you know what a difficult time it is dealing with this older equipment. And obviously with this much mechanics, um, it's a lot like a, uh, a Ford pickup. You're going to have problems once in a while. So hopefully the new digital projector will occupy about the same space as this projector however the platter system will not be here so this will add a bunch of room up here for us make our lives a little bit easier in this room we can maybe do some storage in here but anyhow we want to personally thank all of the folks over the years that have supported us 
uh, the folks who come every weekend, no matter what, you know who you are. There's too many of you to address individually. However, we will meet you at the candy counter and thank you each and every weekend that you show up. Uh, there was a huge outpouring of support for these for the conversion. Um, we've said it a million times, the theater really makes only enough money to keep itself running. And if it ever did go into the black, meaning it makes money, uh, we generally turn that money right around and reinvest it into uh, the building or equipment. So if anybody out there wants a complete and total projection system, it's ready to go. It'll look great in your basement. Um, feel free to contact me and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. I might even come help you set it up. There again, thank you very much. And we'd now like to welcome you to the digital age for the Gem Theater. And uh, we hope we can bring you many, many, many more years. Uh, hopefully some great, great movies will come out. And hopefully we'll see everybody again and again and again. And from my family to your family, once again, thank you all so very much. Enjoy the show.